When Otto Octavius was on his deathbed, he did the unthinkable. He switched consciousness with Peter Parker, taking over Spider-Man's body. When Peter died, Otto saw the goodness in Peter and decided to live up to his legacy, becoming the superior Spider-Man. But that didn't work out. The city is under attack by an army of robots, controlled by Norman Osborn. Battling Osborn's horde are Otto, the superior Spider-Man, and Miguel O'Hara, Spider-Man 2099. The armor's thinnest the joints. Hit them where they're weak. You think I don't know that? Just as the Spider-Man are becoming overwhelmed by spider slayers, Osborn plays his finishing move. Look into the camera, sweetie. Show your friend Spider-Man how terrified you are. It's Anna Maria, Otto's girlfriend. Don't fall for it, Spider-Man. It's a trap. Anna Maria. The goblin cackles as Otto flies into a rage. I'll kill you. What'll it be? The lady or the spider? <laughs> Miguel warns Otto against engaging Aging. This is what Norman wants. They'll stop the robots, then save the girl. Before Miguel can finish his thought, Otto was gone, leaving Miguel to fend for himself. The real Spider-Man would never... Otto races across the city, watching the smoke rise on the city he was supposed to protect. The city! I swore to protect her better than Parker ever could. Now look at it, in flames, racked with violence, the goblins' hordes rampaging with impunity. Otto looks down below, where the rest of the city's heroes protect the civilians. All Otto can think is that all of it is my fault. The self-described master planner has once again failed, and he has no idea what to do. Damn it! What would Parker do? Just then, he hears a maniacal cackle. Menace, one of Norman's goblin-styled lackeys. Menace glides down to the subways below. Otto follows closely behind. Little does Otto know, deep inside his mind, there's another battle going on. Peter Parker is fighting for consciousness, locked deep inside his old body. Peter's memories are whizzing by, merging with Otto's as he struggles to take back control. Peter's confusing his memories with Otto's, but things start to become painful. Peter relives all of his most traumatic moments, the ones which shaped him into the hero he'd become. I'm Peter Parker, and that's my life. Every triumph, every tragedy, the heartache, and the joy. Family, friends, the adventure of it all, and the fun. My God, there was so much fun. I'm taking it back, all of it. As Peter self-actualizes inside Otto's head, Otto finally catches up with Menace. A hostage is tied to the tracks, and the headlights are growing closer. Anna Maria! But that's not Anna Maria. It's Amy Chen, whom he'd saved just a few weeks earlier. Otto freezes. If I miss, if I'm hit, there'll be no one to save Anna Maria. What should I? Jump! Otto obeys the command from deep inside his mind, leaping to save Amy at the very last second. Half a second later, and she'd be dead. Otto holds the child closely as she begins to weep. Shh, you're safe now. Peter has emerged from the catacombs of Otto's mind, and he's not happy. You screwed up, Otto. When there's time, you weigh options. When there's not, you act, and you always do the right thing. Otto's head drops. He was wrong. He is not the superior Spider-Man. Otto hands off Amy to the police. Peter, for the first time, sees the damage done to his city. Oh my God. How could you let things get so bad? Otto didn't fully grasp what he was in for. He was arrogant. No, it's more than that. We've both been in each other's heads. We know the truth. Sure, Otto is arrogant, but it's only because he knows he's not the best. He overcompensates. Peter, on the other hand, is guilt-ridden because he knows he's smarter than the others, better than the others. Today, you will own up to it. Today, you must accept that you are superior. Peter tries to comfort the career criminal who had overtaken his body, but Otto won't stand for it. He leads Peter to Parker Industries. What the what? Peter's got a lot of catching up to do in the land of the living. Otto created this corporation as an ode to Peter, but no time for that now. The past and present Spider-Man enter the laboratory into the mindscape. Just so you know, Otto, if this is some kind of trap, I'm ready for anything. I believe you. Otto hooks himself up to the machine, preparing himself for what comes next. That's why I'm doing this. Peter watches as Otto's memories fade from existence. His childhood, his villainy, his heroism, all disappearing. Otto is giving Peter his body back. A tear drips down his face as Otto watches these memories fade for the final time. My Anna Maria, you, you really love her. Yes, Otto begins to fade, begins to be erased from existence. Otto begins to die. For I know only you can save her because you are the superior spider.
Spider-Man. Peter wipes Otto's tear from his cheek. No more time to mourn. There's work to be done. Peter sheds himself of Otto's suit, grabbing the old red and blues from a closet. Spider-Man is back. My turn. Across the city, the woman Peter swore to save faces her attacker. I'm dying to know what you think of the view. Oh God, please. I don't want to. Takes your breath away, doesn't it? The goblin underground no more. Look upon my new kingdom. Norman lifts Anna Maria into the air, cackling as he shows her the beauty of a city reborn in his image. New York has fallen. Behold, my goblin nation. <laughs> Back at Parker Industries, Peter's already running into new problems post regaining his body. So that's it? You just came here for a change of clothes? Something like that. Sanji, sorry if I was a little rude before. Peter's probably going to be doing a lot of apologizing in these next few days. Sanji doesn't want to hear it. He needs to leave. The city's under attack, and Spider-Man being here makes the entire building a target. But Peter notices someone in the next lab. Carly? Green veins are pouring from Carly's eyes. She does not look all right. The injection worked. I'm almost back to normal. Almost. What happened to you? How is this normal? Sanji reveals that Carly was infected with the goblin formula. Peter Parker... Well, Otto Octavius, in Peter's body, used her blood to create a cure. You have a way to neutralize goblin serum? Can you make more? Fast? Curing the bad guys? That doesn't sound like Spider-Man. At least, the Spider-Man as of late. Sure you wouldn't rather shoot them in the face? Or beat them half to death on webcam? What can I say? I woke up feeling like a new man. Back at the Empire State University, Spider-Man 2099 huffs and pants as he stands above a pile of robot corpses. Ugh, I think that's all of them. But one robot robot remains. It stealthily creeps behind Miguel, raising a rocket launcher to the back of his head. Not quite! Spidey comes in for a last minute save, right on cue, but Miguel doesn't seem grateful. You left me to fight all these shocking robots so you could change costumes? Did you even try to save that girl? Miguel squeezes Spider-Man's neck. I was brain swapped with Doc Ock, so I don't know what's been happening, but I'm off to fight the Green Goblin and I could use some help. Old buddy? Old pal? Miguel lets go of Peter. Peter's throat. He pauses for a second. Yeah, that sounds just stupid enough to be right. Let's go. Five blocks away, the Avengers continue to lay waste to the Goblin's robots, but they're starting to become outnumbered. The enemy hordes are endless. Avengers, Thor and I could use some backup here. Hobgoblin comes swooping into the fight, keeping the rest of the heroes at bay. Not happening, Stark. All of these other heroes are a joke. A joke barely worthy of my sonic laugh. <laughs> As the Goblin laughs, the heroes on the ground grab their ears in pain. None of them can fight through this sonic attack. But too bad that doesn't work on everyone. Huh? The two Spideys come soaring in to even the playing field. Hobgoblin, right? New outfit, same glass jaw. Hobgoblin darts off into the night, flying away after just one kick from Spider-Man. We can catch him. No time. I finally triangulated the signal guiding the robots. It's coming from the Oscorp building, which means his boss is there too. That's how we end this. Spidey and Miguel swing away, though the remaining Avengers are left confused. Two of them now, huh? At least one sounds right for a change. We'll figure that out later when we've taken our city back. The Spideys swing toward Oscorp, which has recently been renamed Alchemax, the same company that's been giving Miguel fits for years in 2099. Peter's got a lot of catching up to do. Before he can, Menace comes in from out of nowhere, knocking them both out of the sky. Tag, you're it! The guy Goblin flies Miguel through a nearby window. I'm so happy you're here. The Goblin King would never forgive me if I killed Spider-Man, but luckily he brought a spare. <laughs> Menace wrestles Miguel to the ground and begins to choke the life out of him. Just as the life drains from Miguel, Spider-Man leaps in and jams a needle into Menace's neck. Not fair! Two against one! Yeah, let's see if I can increase those odds. Two spiders against one ex-goblin. The green hue drains from Menace's body. The antidote worked. The goblin formula has a cure. The spiders break up. Miguel goes to save the people inside Alchemax. And Peter's got an old friend to see. And here he is at last, the hero of our little drama. Just in time for the thrilling climax. But wait, a twist. The hero isn't one at all. In fact, he never was. Really, Otto, you're just embarrassing yourself with this charade. 
Saving that little lady is your last remaining achievement as Spider-Man. When it all goes boom, you'll have nothing left. <laughs> Except the dignity of knowing I never carried a man purse. The Green Goblin freezes, rendered silent. It's you, the one and only. The Goblin begins to fly away, setting the pumpkin bombs on a 60-second timer. Spider-Man races after him, but not without sending a little help toward Anna Maria. Spidey flings one of Osborne and shurikens into the wall right above Anna Maria's head, allowing her to cut herself free. You, you think I'm afraid of you? I've beaten you before. I've crushed you. Yeah, you're great against rookie Spider-Man, but I've crushed you too. Peter grabs Norman's arms, crushing his wrists. This time, I'm putting an end to you. For good. Goblin laughs. Peter doesn't have the stomach to kill. There's more than one way to end a goblin. Say ah. Peter grabs the anti-goblin formula and tears off Goblin Goblin's mask, but I have absolutely no idea who you are. This was Norman's trick play. His face was too well known, so he changed it. Peter's looking at Mason Banks, Alchemax executive. Tomorrow, he can be someone else. He did this all to let the Osborne name live on. Alchemax will be a legacy for his grandson. Can't have it connected to the Goblins or this face. You never should have unmasked me. Oh, that's not why I did it, Chuckles. Suddenly, a hundred tiny spider bots crawl across Norman's unrecognizable face. See, with your goblins protocol in effect, none of the many spider bots I brought with me could see you, each one loaded with a goblin cure, courtesy of the late Otto Octavius. Just at that moment, the pumpkin bombs go off. Anna Maria flung herself from the roof, which reminds me, I've got a promise to keep. Peter swings down to save the girl, just like normal. Up above, Norman begins to teeter on his glider. His goblin strength is failing. Norman plummets to the ground below, but Spider-Man saves him. I, I don't understand. Why? Because I'm Spider-Man, and when I'm around, no one dies, even you.